Treacy. Good morning, New Day friends. I woke up with a lot of thoughts swirling up in my head, so I wanted to bounce them off a few of my friends. So it's time for Hot Topics. Our Hot Topics panel today is actress Peppermint, now on tour in Seattle, plus the not-so-mad scientist, Mama Gone Geek, Lynn Brunell, and New Day producer, Sulu Z. Wiley, who has absolutely gone mad, but we're okay with it. Welcome, you all. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I like that, Susie. Susie's Thank like, mm-hmm, funny. Mm -hmm. Aren't you funny today? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are still eating candy from Halloween, oh. right? So we thought we would continue to talk a little bit about Halloween. And a beauty-turned-beast, Heidi Klum, known for her star-studded <sighs> Halloween party every year, this is her Halloween costume this year. Oh! oh. It is disturbing. <laughs> so, and that's her daughter, Lena, I think, with her. Oh. And husband. that's her husband as a giant... As a fisherman, fisherman. who carries fisherman. catches a giant worm. Uh -oh. right? Okay, no, th they're interviewing her here. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Oh, oh. Ew. I, where do we find these pictures? Oh. <laughs> this, these are all uh, AP photos. I mean, these are the legit photos from her from her party, and I just think it's so interesting. She spends her whole all of her days in beauty, you know, yes. in having mm -hmm. to look good to go out, and this is her time to dress up as really beastly. I mean, it's so creepy. There's nothing Heidi Klum in there, you know what I mean? She does this every year. She's always, I mean, one year she was uh, Teen Wolf. That was my favorite. Oh, yeah, Did I see remember that one. That one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she really goes all the way out with these costumes. I think it's fantastic. It looks really good. It looks really well done mm -hmm. because it's so horrifying. But I didn't even know that she was a worm. Maybe it's just because of the sheer size. I thought she was one of, I honestly thought she was one of those, um, like meat things that you carve the meat off to get like oh, a like gyro. A kebab. Yeah, yeah, like a kebab. A kebab. That's what I thought she was. And I was like, what? Why is she dressed like a, this I, I knew it was a worm. I thought she was a tapeworm, and I thought, God, that is a commitment, because that is a pretty nasty creature. But I love that you she dressed up like a worm. She's a model, and she, you know, went all, you yeah. know, nature. I, now all I can think about is the kebab. And one, I'm hungry, and two, next year, maybe. Next hey. year. <laughs> she's a you get all the and credit. she's in costume and yeah. also the um, the food table. Like, yes. she stands there and people <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. All right, well, from one supermodel to the next, Giselle Bunchen and her somewhat well-known husband. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, yeah, Tom what? Brady. Both are single. Will they ever swipe right again? How hard will it be to find a date for either of them? I'm sure it's very tough. Tiny violins yeah, playing tough for them. to follow on both ends, yes. I think. I mean, I don't know. This whole thing, I mean, I love, can I just say, I love that they were, like, filed and finalized divorce. Yeah on one day. But boom, they did some work. It yeah. can be done, but that really means it's probably been building for a while. And to be honest with you, yeah. I don't think they're like, it would be a shock and a surprise if we were to hear that Tom Brady was starting to think about dating someone else now. He yeah. probably has had his inbox flowing, overflowing for years. Can you imagine? It's true. <laughs> I just wonder too, when he stops playing football, is she gonna come back around? Cause didn't it seem like it was just, he was having an affair with being a football player? Yeah. I feel like it was the straw that broke yeah. the camel's back. I think she was like, yeah, and I'm out. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm, you love that football ready. more than yeah. me. Yeah. Peace out. I'm, I'm not here yeah. for it. Yeah. I did hear that she bought, randomly, a $1.5 million home. Okay. Like that's do. Which is nothing. Which them. is literally an apartment here in Seattle. <laughs> yeah. um, in Florida. Is she moving there? It's like a, it's a four bedroom, four bath. It's like a tiny little house. Like, they do have a big, big house in Florida. I know that. This is not a big, big house. But yeah, it's interesting that she brought a small little place. I don't know. No, no, it's not. I actually, I mean, it is interesting, but it's not a mystery because I heard that she might already be dating somebody. That's what I heard. <gasps> oh, oh yes. snap. Yes. Wow. <laughs> well, good for her. I mean, clearly they were ready to move on. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if someone screens the inbox. For both of them, they have to, right? They don't go through all that themselves. Oh, yeah. All Could the they? requests, no. the swipes. No, hmm. no. I know that Tom has a private inbox. Oh. <laughs> oh. This would not surprise that me in the later. <laughs> that was said with confidence. <laughs> <laughs> well, those beautiful ladies, I'm sure they're gonna have no problem, but can I just say, speaking of those ladies, it has been growing up or becoming a woman and looking at those supermodels just thrust upon us all the time. It was not hard, it's not easy being a woman sometimes. And so I'm really happy to find out that Disney has decided to 
have a their very first plus size Disney heroine. Now, apparently not everyone is thrilled with this, although I don't know why anyone would really care. But it, uh, it's a short film. Right, and first, I think that's but the let's... reason why people aren't thrilled with this. There's, because the subject of the film is how that she doesn't feel confident because she is plus size. Yeah, and I okay. think some oh, people are right. saying, I well, see. why does why do we have to even go there? Couldn't we just have a plus can't, size princess? Can't she just and, be normal? Yeah. Yes, can't she just be yeah. normal and find a, a prince or fight a battle mm -hmm. or find whoever? And, mm -hmm. and that was kind of the thing. Why does it have to be that? But I kind of think maybe it's the gateway. And, yeah. You know? I agree. I think show it, right? Because it is something that we do, you know, put on ourselves if we don't look like you know, models like yeah. some of us. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, show show <laughs> these people normal sized people living normal lives and having wonderful adventures. Yeah. It doesn't have to be the adventure of struggling with the fact that you don't fit in. It really does yes. speak to the uh, the problem with you know the culture with in Hollywood with beauty standards. You know, it it shows where we're coming from. That you know our first plus size you know, or really normal bodied star um, of a Disney film has to bring all these issues and talk mm -hmm. about all of the, you know, they talk about the issues, not like all the other things that are happening in their life. But like you said, hopefully it is a gateway because mm -hmm. it looks like a lot of fun. I'm just, I was kind of bummed that it's just a short film. Right. I, I was it's like, why can't it be a regular right. film? Right, right, it's two right. minutes. Yeah. yeah, they're like, we're well, gonna just tip yeah. our toe yeah. in the water here and yeah. see what yeah. happens. But yeah. truly, I agree with you. Why can't it just be she who she is fighting a freaking yeah. dragon or something? Exactly. Come on now. Come on. A wicked witch. Yeah. But you know what? Don't get me started on that. <laughs> Okay. Some Please do. People's family members. <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk about <laughs> karaoke now. <laughs> do y'all love or hate karaoke? I, for one, adore doing karaoke. When, I love it. When yes. pressed. When pressed. I love when it. Pressed. When forged. Does that mean cliff. when after having a drink? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and someone signing you up without your knowledge? <laughs> love it when the, some of them are really, really good and they're using it as basically to perform and then well, I think oh, why? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think some karaoke, that the fun of it is that you're not that great. Yeah, yeah. but you right? know, Okay, I, 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 I hate when people hate on the good singers and they're like, why are you even here? I'm not going And then I'm you. like, you know what? Where else are you going to perform? Like, you, you're like a technician mm -hmm. and then you want to sing, so go sing your heart out at the boxcar, baby. Yeah. Fine. I'm not going with you. <laughs> Is that where we'll find you on Friday night? <laughs> yes. I'm I think it's Saturday you. night, I'll so we'll talk you later. On. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love karaoke. My favorite karaoke song to sing, no, all the time, is "Faith" by George Michael. Oh, oh yes. 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 I love that. I yeah. love that. I love it. What's yours, Lynn? If you had uh, a go-to, you know, I'm kind of a love shack girl. <gasps> oh. So you go with a group of friends. Yeah, I love yeah. Well, that. I am all those friends. Oh. <laughs> Susie, well, sing it. I mean, having my baby by sing Paul. It. <laughs> Having my baby, baby. I'm a woman in love. <laughs> yeah, that one. But I will say the one I d I'm tired of, <laughs> I have to go through right now, is Britney Spears' Oops, I Did It Again. I, if I never hear that again at karaoke, I'm fine. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mine is uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia. Oh, Because nice. it's a performative piece. Do you, yeah. do, the, do you do the whole, like, music song? I do the... Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Son of a Preacher Man. Oh, If I've yeah. had a couple of vodka. That's yeah. actually really good. Yeah. All right, well, maybe we have to have a plan for us all to go to karaoke. I'm not going to lie. Girl, I'm ready. Rocks box after this, okay? Yeah, bring it on. All right. All right, well, thank you all. Peppermint is actually going to be staying with us. And Lynn, you're sticking around, too. Uh, Peppermint is going to catch me up on her tour.